News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman uh, for the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at quite a strong market. Uh, there was an earnings, uh, there was a, an economic report earlier on. The market dropped sharply. You can see that here in the futures. There we go, the futures. Uh, there was that sudden 8.30, whoops, slide to the downside. Now we're actually come back with the E-mini <clears throat> up 23. And that's uh, that's actually very nice action after yesterday. So within that context, let's just go to this. You got the Dow closed yesterday at uh, 34,575. Now the futures, the YM chart uh, is up 160 at 35,079, getting close to the door that it has to be opened and not shut closed. You've got this inside track repellent zone. So going all the way to uh, 35,113 in the futures and then 35,180. Above into the 32,000, 30, yes, uh, sorry, 35,000. Going to the 35,200s in the E-mini futures would be, um, the, the Dow futures would be very positive. The E-mini futures right now up 20 at 4,538. Knocking on that door as well. This is the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And this is where the price keeps getting repelled. And, and if it goes above 45.60, that's at 45.38 right now, that's a break to the upside. Looking at the QQQ, I'll just go to that right now. That's the uh, Invesco QQQ Trust Series trading up $1.56 at 375.77. Not quite as good. Also bumping into that door. And it needs to get to the 378 level to really start breaking out. IWM, the Russell 2000, that's the small caps. Small caps are up $1.58 at 184.55, just hugging that nine, that 200 period moving average. This is going to be very important because gold is down again, down seven, uh, six points at uh, 19.26, really struggling as the dollar somehow just keeps squeaking to the upside over the last couple of days. And then boom, today did that alternate count. I said, if this is the case, this, the dollar should attempt to get your new recovery high. And here it is, up 44 ticks at 105.20. And we're looking at crude oil uh, up again, up 126 at 89.77. I'll be back for the Rocket Equities and Options Report Hour. That's Tommy Jr. He's out. And I'll be doing that hour as well as mine at 10 o'clock. So stay tuned. It should be an exciting session coming up.